Hi, this is Paul Carson. And this is just a short demonstration on the discussion board uh, at a couple levels, on the, on the level of actually setting it up and on the level of, of how to use it once it is set up. Uh, so this is our course. This is the icebreaker text that you've just read and the importance of establishing an online presence. There's more to read about that. But now we want you to use the discussion board to introduce yourself, to begin to establish that online presence. So the first thing I need to do is to set up a discussion board. So I'm going to mouse over this Add Interactive tool at the top of the page and choose Discussion Board. I'm going to create a new forum. I'm going to call this Icebreaking. And I just want to write a brief description. And submit. Ah, I want to scroll down. There's some settings I want to check. Uh, no anonymous posting. No editing of posts. You have to own your own words. I want to allow members to subscribe to the forum. Right? Subscriptions means that once I subscribe, I get an email every time somebody uses the forum. This is an incredibly useful way of keeping track of the discussion board. The, the posts pop into your email, and you can see, oh, I have to go to Blackboard and take care of that the discussion board. And I'm going to set this to grading, not because I think I want to grade your work in this, particularly in an ice-breaking form. Ordinarily, I wouldn't assign a grade to this. Uh, but I'll give everybody a point just for participating, but eventually I'll make another recording showing you how the grading works and how the sorting tools in Blackboard let you see who's doing the work. If I had a rubric for a discussion board post, I could add that rubric here. So now next, I have ice breaking selected. I think I need to put this again. And submit. And now this will be on the bottom of the page. I'm going to drag this up. And now we have a link to the discussion board. And when you get to this page, there'll be a link above here that will be this video, this explanation of creating the discussion board and then using the discussion board. So to use it, the first step is to click into the discussion board. Uh, there are no threads. So I want to create a thread. This will be the first step. And since this is my introduction, the subject is going to be me. And I have a message I already composed. And submit. So when you come into the discussion board, so let me back out of this so you see where we are. In modules, module one, getting to know you, activity one, breaking the ice, here's the icebreaker text, and then here's this link to the icebreaking discussion board. When you get here, your choice is two. Either you can create a new thread, which would be you and your introduction to you, to which somebody can reply, or you can read an existing thread. So here's what a post in a thread looks like. Here's what I said. You can read this, and then you can either quote it, which is part of a reply. I recommend, I highly recommend, strongly recommend, that you quote when you reply, so that you put in the post what you're talking about, particularly as discussion boards get complicated. 
I had to take a phone call and I'm back and a little bit confused as to where I left off. So if this is a little disjointed, um, that's why. The reply is just reply. You just hit that and start typing. But it's much more useful to quote. To hit quote, that'll bring this text in and then you can say, in your reply, I'm replying to Paul who said blah 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 and I disagree because or I agree because whatever whatever it is you want to say. The other tools you want to pay attention to here are up at the top of this. With just one post this doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense but you can select all. That puts this little check mark in all of the posts all the way down the page. There'll be a whole picture here of who replied to whom. And collect. And what collect does is it adds all of the posts to one single page so you can read down the page. You can always quote and reply to any to any post. You can also decide the thread order. This is in thread order but you could have it in chronological order. You could arrange it by subject or author's name. You can also select all and mark read or unread and I'll show you here in a second why that's important. If we go back out to the forum ice breaking, here's the unread posts. Right? When this gets up to 20 or 40, reading only the unread ones is a huge time saver. So just to review using the discussion board, right? you're going to start in module one, breaking the ice. And here's the ice breaking discussion board. When you click in, you'll see a post or more posts. You can either create a thread that will be used starting a conversation, your, your introduction of you, or you can click into and read and reply to, or quote and reply to a thread. And within the thread, you can use these select all and collect to collect all of the posts to read. And as the, the boards get more complicated, these will become incredibly important. If you have any questions, please email paul.carson at hofstra.edu or call 463-4096. Have a great day.